Hey, I'm AD Dolphin, the CEO of DHerbs.com, and here at DHerbs, we get tons and tons of health related questions. But this week, we're going to tackle wisdom teeth. Our first question comes from Anonymous. Why do wisdom teeth come in so late and for so many people need to be removed? This is fiction. Wisdom teeth don't actually come in late. They're just the last molars to actually grow in. It's true, a lot of people need for them to be removed, but not everyone. Some people don't actually have all four wisdom teeth, and some people, their jaw is big enough to handle those four teeth easily. It just, it's a range. The reason why people have those wisdom teeth removed because sometimes they can grow in in such a way it actually puts those wisdom teeth on a collision course with nearby teeth. Look, if those wisdom teeth don't grow out, they can cause infection, gum disease, and also rot. Our next question comes from Chapstick14. How did humans deal with wisdom teeth before modern dentistry? Did they die? This is a fact. Death wasn't universal, but in the 1700s, tooth problems were one of the top five causes of death in England. Not all of these were wisdom teeth problems, but like I said earlier, wisdom teeth can potentially cause a lot of infections. And without antibiotics, those don't end up well. Look, back then, they actually had something that kind of worked in their favor. People used to lose more teeth than they do now. When you lose the teeth, that actually creates more room for those molars to grow in. This actually happens to a small number of people today. If you lose your molar early enough, that wisdom tooth can actually replace that molar and act as if it is a molar. Our final question comes from Treebeard555. Why is it very common not to have wisdom teeth, but virtually unheard of to have missing regular teeth? This is fiction. One or more wisdom teeth are missing in 20% of people, and as many as 3% of people are born without some teeth beside their missing wisdom teeth. The missing teeth are usually molars and is usually caused by genetics. Trauma in this area. Maybe, maybe you got punched in the face as a kid. It can affect the growth of your teeth, believe it or not. Also, I would add cancer treatments like radiation, chemotherapy as a child can affect the growth of your teeth. It's not unheard of, but not super common either. That's all for today, and thanks for watching Factor Fiction. If you have any questions that you want answered, you can email us at factorfiction at dherbs.com or message us on social media. In the meantime, like, subscribe, and don't forget to stay healthy.